Okay, so today we're going to highlight a um, a cool feature. I was given a request to do a tutorial called uh, like Fancy Zoom, but I think this is actually a better um, a better alternative to that. It, it's basically Lightbox, but there's a lot more effects you can do. So I can do different things like you know easing in and out, fading. I can do Ajax calls. I can do titles in different locations. I like this tool a lot better, so I'm going to show you how to use it. So we're going to go ahead and start with our shell here. Okay, so we've just got an HTML head, some script. I got a jQuery opener. And I've got head, body, and nothing else. Okay. Uh, first, we're going to download the file. So, download, save, unzip. Okay. And then we're going to. So here's that. And then we're going to. Well, I already have it, but we're going to take this, open it up, and take our fancy box folder, the whole thing, and just drop it over here. Okay. Next thing we're going to do is open. Uh, we already have our index file. So there's a bunch of scripts that we're going to need, and they are these. I'm just going to paste them in here. Boom. Okay, so they're in the fancy box folder. They're all in there. We've got the easing pack, the mouse wheel pack, so you can it can actually control the mouse wheel at some point, um, the fancy box script itself, and then the CSS file, so it can do all the CSS it needs. All in that folder. It's great. Uh, then we need the jQuery, because it doesn't include that in the folder. So we're just going to grab from the Ajax the Google APIs right here. Okay, so now we've got all the script that we need, which is great. So let's first put an image in. So we're going to go to my YouTube channel and just pull this image right here. So uh, view, copy, image, copy, sorry, copy, image location. Okay, so we're going to make an A class equals fancy image. Okay, that doesn't really matter. Um, the href equals, um, well, that doesn't matter right now. What's in here is going to be our image source. That's what matters right here for this, okay? That's important right here, so that we've made our image, we've made an image link. That's all we've done. So if we if we run this right now, um, nothing happens except I can click this and it, it goes to the image. I mean, there's nothing that happens. Actually, nothing happens at all because I don't have an href. So I'll go ahead and put the image again in the href. Again, the href links to the image, okay? Save and refresh. All this is going to do is go to the image. See the URL change? It didn't really do anything. Let's enable the effect. To do it, all we're going to do is we're going to, in our document.ready, we're going to say dot fancy image, referring to the image that we just made, dot fancy box. With nothing in it. That's all we have to do. Now we're going to go ahead and refresh, and when I click it, there's my image. Obviously, it's a small image because my final image was small. So the big image goes right in here. It actually, the big image is supposed to go here. So I actually have one in um, square bracket. So we're going to go to square bracket.com slash YouTube big dot PNG, right? So, so big image in the href and small image as the image tag. So when I refresh the page and I click it, now I've got my big image. Okay, so let's actually add a different effect to it, and that's pretty simple. Inside the fancy box, we're just going to add a param called transition um, in, and that's going to be elastic, like that. And now when we refresh it, it's actually going to come out from this spot. See that? It's going to come out from that spot. So it's a very cool effect that you can do with that. Now, there's a lot of options, and I'm not going to go through them all. Go ahead and read the fancybox.net website for all of them. But there's more cooler stuff that we can do with this. So let's instead change this to fancy YouTube, OK? We're actually going to open up a YouTube link. So we're going to use this image. We're still going to have that image, but we're going to use um, this image tutorial. So I'm going to pause myself when I start talking here because, okay, hey okay. So I'm going to copy this entire YouTube URL, right? And I'm going to go in here, and that is going to be my href now. Okay, get it? The YouTube is going to be the href. If I played this right now, even if I change this here, so that I'm referring to my fancy YouTube, even if I did this, it won't work. So if I refresh and try it, it's going to fail. See, it's failing right now. This is what it looks like when it fails. So there's some special code that it gives you in order to do this. And I'm going to paste this in and then explain it, but I'm going to give you this code because you just kind of have to use it. They didn't make this part super easy, but once you have this code, it is super easy. Okay. So what it's doing is it's calling the click on the fancy YouTube, just like we were before. The difference is we're not calling dot fancy box. Okay, we're not calling dot fancy box. We're actually going to call fancy box as a function, 
okay and we're gonna set a bunch of parameters you don't really need all these parameters for example I don't need the padding I don't need the auto scale um, the transition in and out I do like so we're gonna leave that I don't need the title I do like the height and width I believe this is important we're gonna play with this in a second if I have enough time but this is I believe is really important to make it work okay and then we have a type uh, which is swift this is the whole key right here a swift for them opens the f opens the href in its own window okay just kind of just kind of know that that's what happens okay and allow full screen means if you have a YouTube video that allows it to go full screen you can do it from here and W mode means transparent this will make it on top of everything again you're just gonna copy this but I'm gonna go ahead and save this and go ahead and go ahead and refresh the page and when I click it now my YouTube video shows up and I can actually play it right here in the window okay which is really cool it's a good effect I can close it out just like that it's actually a really neat effect I like this now there's one last step that I want to do with this I want to be it so that you can come to the page and open a specific video so let's actually have another fancy box video with a different YouTube video okay um, so let's go to a different YouTube video let's do this one okay so we're gonna copy that one and let's uh, pause this when it starts okay so we're just going to use a different YouTube video and for the sake of this we really should use a different uh, screenshot as well so say copy image location and here we go okay so now at this point we have two different images and they open two different videos see great now what we're going to do with this is we're going to give each of them their own ID okay so ID equals um, vid2 vid2 oops okay and here ID equals vid1 alright so we have each their own ID now when we load this page so we're in the document dot ready we're gonna see we're gonna console dot log our location dot hash okay like that just so you can see what's going on I think you're gonna you don't know what I'm doing yet but it's gonna be cool alright so our empty string right now so if I oh I'm actually not even in my okay so better back here so now we're gonna add a hash we're gonna say hash um, vid1 okay and I actually need to load the page with it so I actually create a new tab with this okay and look at our hash it's vid1 very important so I'm gonna say if um, location dot hash equals pound vid1 and actually well, you know what we're going to do? Even better than that. We're going to say if location.hash. Okay, we're going to say location.hash.click. Okay, so this is a really cool piece of code. Because location.hash matches the ID of this, and because location.hash also brings in that pound sign, it's now a jQuery selector. So if there's a hash, we're gonna just going to grab the element that has that hash and click it, which will execute the fancy box when you load the page. So if I go here in a new window, okay, so open a new tab and I go here, it's going to open it up and immediately open that video, which is really cool. So do the same thing for video two, right? So open a new tab. And the reason I'm opening new tabs is because when the hash changes, the page doesn't reload. So the page has to load for the document dot ready to actually do its thing. So I'm going to load vid two now and vid2 automatically loads so you can actually give people these links and when they go here the the videos will actually open up and play even though they don't have their own page okay so after looking at the code for a minute I realized how I can make this a little bit better and easier to do and well basically currently when you click on this box the YouTube video opens from the center which isn't really the effect that I wanted I wanted it to open from the box and there is a way to get that effect and there's a way to make this a lot simpler so first thing I'm gonna do I found it I read what this regex does basically get rid of all this up to the question mark okay and then change the equal sign to another slash so it's slash V slash that's what they want you to do that's what that regex is doing the reason they want you to do this is because this is actually the the URL the Swift file you could put on here dot SWF and it would actually be the flash Swift file that's why they're doing that so then we'll get rid of the href altogether we'll also get rid of the Swift tag altogether don't need it and make sure you get rid of that last comma we will also get rid of the click and just add the dot fancy box directly onto the YouTube itself and be because we're not in the link anymore we don't need the return false so and we don't need one more of these so now our codes a lot shorter okay and take a look at the final result when I refresh I click the video it actually pops out
from the block itself and here's our video it's playable just like before okay so now it actually opens up from the box itself so that's the key right there so now the code is a lot shorter and a lot more concise so there you go this is just some of the basics of using fancy box and all the different stuff that you can do with it